Marco, thank you so much for speaking with me, and especially because, let's face it, we're in award season, and one of the biggest awards is what you've been involved with, and it is so important to the Canadian industry and around the world, too. What big award, can we say award week, <laughs> is going to be happening with us because, um, yeah, it's what a celebration when it comes to the big screen and the small screen, too. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's right that you called it uh, the Screen Week because it's actually we have these uh, awards throughout uh, the Canadian Screen Week uh, because they start on Monday and then we have award shows every day except Saturday, you know, culminating in the uh, broadcast show that's going to be uh, aired on CBC uh, and CBC Gem on Sunday uh, night, April 10th. It's uh, it's, a, it's no, a really please go ahead. Yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting time. Uh, I mean, you work the entire year uh, to, um, you know, uh, towards these shows and it's just culminates in such a perfect and great way. And we hope that we are able to celebrate the, you know, the nominees and uh, the winners as well, the way they deserve, because we have a fantastic talent, uh, not just in Canada, but, you know, they're recognized worldwide. So we're very proud of them and we're looking forward to um, uh, celebrate them uh, during the Canadian Screen Week. You know, you said that, um, which is so important, because I remember, of course, growing up and watching a lot of Canadian shows, and a lot of Canadian movies. They didn't have the punch that would say other international um, uh, areas would have, like in the States or in France or in Italy or, or anywhere else. And over the years, uh, we've I think we've come such a long way and I love when people are thinking, oh, no, that's an American show or that's an American movie. And you're going, no, 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 no. That's red and white. How do you feel about the transition of what we've done from in the past to what we've become today? That's a really interesting question. And I think that's a question that everybody in our industry uh, thinks about a lot since we're, you know, right next to the, um, the entertainment industry from America. Uh, so, uh, I, but I think that like, we have a very unique, we're in a very unique position and, uh, with such amazing talent, you know, and, and great, like writers and directors and people behind the scenes, there, there, there is a reason why all these big productions are coming to Canada to shoot their stuff. I mean, we are very talented. We know our things and we know our stuff, how to do it well and professionally. And also that's reflecting in our own industry because the same people are working and creating these shows that you know, we're coming up with, uh, and then also like, you know, uh, we are, uh, we're here now to celebrate those people. Um, I, I agree with you that uh, it, it has uh, changed, uh, you know, uh, quite, a, quite a lot. Our shows are really internationally known now, and our stars are like really out there, and we couldn't be happier, obviously, because we get to celebrate them as well in our own country with our, you know, in, a, uh, in front of a small screen or big screen. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's a, it's a perfect opportunity for us to like really, really um, take in uh, all the success that we've had in the past year. Yeah, I love when I see a show like Transplant, of course, uh, Canadian show, CTV, and of course, NBC, you know, taking a foot on this. So it tells you we have come a long, long way. Um, long way has been the last two, three years. How have you guys been dealing with Because I'm used to being in that tight red carpet, interviewing the stars as they come down in their glam and looking amazing and seeing these amazing shows and being in the press uh, press room when the winners come out or, or whoever comes out and the enthusiasm and the excitement and seeing them. But things have changed because of COVID. How have you guys evolved for the last three years and being able to present such an amazing award show? You know, uh, it, it, it obviously it's been challenging like for everybody else. Uh, you know, it's a it's a very uh, big thing to like go from you know producing live events and these big shows and televise them on television. You know, suddenly cancel your awards uh, two weeks before they're supposed to you know go live on uh, you know on TV. And then you, but it's a great opportunity also for us to like think outside the box of what the award shows are. You know, find new ways to like really produce something that's original something that's like exciting and as well like showcase the 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 great work that our nominees have produced over the year uh so you know i am very proud of this year's show i think that this is going to be 
one of the most original like award shows out there. Uh, we've seen like, you know, many great successes and, you know, people are able to pivot and produce like shows that are kind of different. We've seen some, uh, you know, award shows that haven't worked uh, well. Obviously I watched all of them. So, uh, you know, like <laughs> you have to, uh, and it's, uh, we're trying to like uh, stay away from the cliches and tropes and really produce something that's um, that's representative of our of our nominees or our, of our winners and our entertainment industry. So like I'm really really excited about this year's awards. I, I personally I am, and I hope that other people are going to be as well. Um, and uh, we have worked very hard. Obviously, as I said, like we have uh, we have worked on this for an entire year. So we're just like trying to like find the best way to produce this and present it to the uh, to the audience. So they're like also excited and they feel entertained when they're watching these things. Okay, let's get into it because we did say the Canadian Screen Awards isn't just a one night event, it's a week. So how is it broken down during the week and how are we gonna watch this? Is it virtual, is it television? How does it all work? Yeah, so um, basically we have 145 categories. And as you can imagine, uh, those categories obviously cover television, uh, film, digital media, including you know uh, immersive things video game awards so we're like really branching out to like try and capture as many you know industries that uh, we're supporting so obviously um, this presents an opportunity for us to like celebrate uh, our nominees and winners in a great way and we break them down by these genres so basically uh, we have an award show for broadcast news we have one for sports programming then we have you know digital media and immersive where we cover games as well and web series and and uh, uh, shows like that and eventually you know like we have this great uh, show as well that covers only cinema called cinematic arts so like that's a really exciting show where you can really really get a feel of the you know um, our country's um, uh, output like in, in in the in the creative work of like all the filmmakers uh, since our movies tend to be very art house and and different than you know the mainstream American movies but obviously there are the mainstream movies as well that do really well and then finally, uh, we have these eight shows that are going to be um, uh, air, aired or like online, available on academy.ca from Monday, um, April 4th until April 8th. And then finally, uh, we have the big broadcast show, which is going to be airing on CBC on Sunday, April 10th um, at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Amazing. Okay. I don't, it, this might be the toughest question I can ask us, but who are some of our big nominees? whether it be uh, an individual or in a cluster for a show or a movie. I know you can't give us all of them, but, <laughs> you know, just a touch here and there. Yeah, absolutely. Like this year has been amazing when it comes to, you know, the, the, how diverse our nominee list is and the reception of our nominees uh, in media has been absolutely amazing. So, for example, we have like shows like Sort Of, which is, you know, a comedy series, which is like really, really like uh, an amazing uh, sitcom that's been produced and that's like get, garnered the most uh, nominations uh, at the Canadian Screen Awards. On the other like end, like we also have like, you know, the shows like, you know, Canada's Drag Race, which is like doing amazing, you know, in uh, reality competitions. Then in movies, we have these, you know, uh, up and coming film directors who are just like so talented and have garnered so many awards like Night Raiders and Scarborough, really, really exciting movies that, you know, people would really want to see out there and see how like well our nominees are doing um, you know, not just because they're nominated, but they're also like, you know, really producing some amazing work, hence why they're nominated, obviously. Yes. And <laughs> exactly. So we're, we're looking like really forward to see who the winners are uh, during the Canadian Screen Awards. It's going to be so much fun. So what do you suggest? Should we put on a tux? Should we have like some wine and maybe hors d'oeuvres and a guy like me, probably popcorn and pop, but still, uh, we should have our own experience at home while we're watching. Absolutely, absolutely. I I watch the shows as well, just like as a fan. And I, you know, last year and the year before, I dressed up. I invited a couple of friends over. We watched it. You know, you get takeout, and like it just becomes like a great like celebration. So, I think like this is a perfect time also to like you know grab the opportunity that you can dress up, even if it's in in your own home. Maybe you invite a couple of friends and you all get dressed up, and I think it would be a nice a nice night to remember and you also enjoyed the show which i guarantee you is going to be very very entertaining i like what you said about ordering out support local businesses that's what we got to keep doing so even though things are slowly opening up and the fact that things are slowly opening up 
I already know the way your brain probably works. Are you already thinking about next year and the fact that if things go right, that I'm actually going to be back on that red carpet and I'm going to be back in that press room and we're going to be able to watch the glitz and glamour and celebrate our Canadian Screen Awards the way, if I can use the term, it was meant to be. Yeah, so I, that's that's very interesting. Uh, uh, you know, throughout this process of producing this show, we obviously constantly keep in mind, you know, next year awards and, and things and like trying to like see what can happen next, what worked this year that can work next year, but obviously in a, in a live setting. So, uh, you know, the day after, literally the day after the broadcast show, I will like shift my entire attention <laughs> towards next year's show and then like, you know, hope for the best and then we're like, you know get out of this um uh, mess uh, basically and uh try to like you know have like those like uh moments of us all of us being together as you said in the press room or like in the in the audience uh like there or on the red carpet it's just so exciting to just like be there around the you can't replace the energy um of these award shows when you're there and uh it's it i'm really hoping that that happens next year marco i'm looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to next year shaking your hand Big hug and saying congratulations on another great show. Looking forward to this. What a way to celebrate Canadian cinema and television and digital. And I love the way you guys have expanded on this. Thank you so much for the interview and looking forward to seeing us being celebrated in such a great way. Thank you so much for having me.